This is the former National Vulcanized Fiber, NVF, manufacturing facility in Yorkland, Delaware, right next to the scenic Red Clay Creek. The company manufactured a stiff paper product made out of recycled rag cuttings for roughly 100 years. They used zinc and other chemicals in the process, some of which were released into the environment. The company went out of business about a decade ago, and the site is now being repurposed into parkland, commercial and residential uses. Before that vision can be realized, however, the site needs to be cleaned up to modern standards. Several programs within DENREC are working hard to see that happen, with the Division of Waste and Hazardous Substances taking the lead. To date, approximately $5 million in state funds and substantial funding from FEMA and EPA have been used to clean up the site. Yeah, let's go in here. This one's neat. It still has some of the bats, I think. And, oh, it's been emptied out a whole lot more than it was the last time I was in here. But all of these different process areas had vats or baths or tanks or something, and they were all here and most of them were still full. So before any demolition could occur, we had to remove all the waste that we possibly could, and then the property owner came in and removed all the asbestos material that he possibly could uh, before we could even demolish the building. So that's something that's taken a good couple years to do as well, is go through each of these buildings, test everything, make sure we knew what it was, what we had to do with it, get it out, get it disposed of, and then work on getting the rest of it down. It's been a very interesting process. The, uh, there was maybe 15 or 20 of those wooden bats. Right in this area here. Uh, and it's where they would do the soaking of the vulcanized fiber sheets to um, extract the zinc. So they would soak it in baths, each you know, uh, successively cleaner. Um, to recover and leach that zinc back out, and that's what they would recover and reuse. All of those vats, those soaking vats, were here. This is where the worst of it happened. This is where our highest concentrations of zinc in the groundwater are. So uh, the wetland that, that we intend to create out here, um, which will again serve as flood storage uh, capacity, uh, as well as source removal of the zinc in the soil, uh, that's gonna be about two acres in size, and it'll stretch uh, approximately from where the stack is uh, all the way over to the creek, uh, right up to where our collection trench is for the groundwater recovery system. Just to my right is the recovery trench, uh, in, within which we have two or three recovery wells. Now those wells are in that trench in some gravel, so as the water comes in, the trench fills up, and we're able to extract that water that's in the trench and send it to the treatment system uh, to recover the zinc before it goes into the sewer system after treatment. Now the two wells that I put in in March, they're a little bit different because they're actually in the source zone, so they're recovering water from the formation uh, directly, whereas this is sort of indirect as it flows into a trench. So we have different recovery capacities in these wells because of the way they've been constructed. But together, uh, they're doing an incredible job of keeping zinc out of the creek. Our wetland's gonna come right up pretty much to, to the edge of it. Uh, you know, in this area, so, oh. You know, we won't, we can't take the treatment system offline because we still have such high levels of zinc in the groundwater. As unfortunate as that is, uh, we can, and we've designed the wetland in a way that we can leave the trench in place. It'll come right up to it, um, but then it'll help drain the entire new hole in the ground. The new wetland will drain much better right to this point, and we can still collect the water uh, as it discharges from our wetland into the creek. Ground, or the groundwater flows to the trench. Which we, which we saw. The recovery wells pump the water uh, in through the system here. There's a caustic that's added um, and that's metered in uh, based upon the amount of zinc that's in the water. Uh, it changes the pH, which allows precipitation of the zinc oxide and it collects in these collection boxes. And every nine weeks or so now, we have to have these pumped out, approximately 5,000 gallons. Uh, of the zinc material that we've recovered from groundwater at site. So that, that material is being kept from the creek. The wetland is scheduled to be done by the end of 2016. Along with all of the cleanup measures, the wetland will help alleviate flooding and remove threats to the environment from contaminants. Cleaning up this site is another example of cooperation between multiple programs within Denver, federal partners, the business community, and others. It marks a significant step in transforming the historic mill complex to a vibrant community. Yeah.